Hi everyone, welcome back to Encounter Encouragement. I know this looks a little different background for you today, but that's because I'm on a trip. And yes, I am stopped. I am Toto in Kansas. I am on my way to visit my family up north, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about my preparation for this trip. I have all the things that I need and I packed everything. But as I was at work yesterday on the 15th, <clears throat> I was training a girl and she was so worried about me taking this trip by myself a thousand miles. And she was worried that because I had worked all day and I was planning on driving right after work that I would fall asleep, you know, and I wouldn't be able to drive proper and it wouldn't be safe. And I told her the story, and many of you have heard it before, of what happened exactly 29 years ago yesterday. The day that I left for this trip was August 15, and 29 years ago, I was at my uncle's visitation for his funeral and I found out that my brother passed away. He fell asleep at the wheel and he hit a semi head on, basically. We never saw him again. And it was pretty devastating. It was a very difficult situation. And yesterday when I was talking to my trainee about it, I kind of lost it for a bit. But I also said that that very story, his story, was what was going to cause me to stay awake and alert, and it was going to cause me to pull over when I really needed to, because I am not willing to put my family through that if I know better, and I do know better, because I know what it feels like to hear those words. My aunt, whose husband was laying there in the casket, was the one to have to tell me that my brother had died. He was 26 years old. He's been gone longer than he was alive. And to this day, it's still very difficult sometimes. But because of his death, and the story surrounding it, multiple people have told me that my telling that story has saved their life. So I hope that this is an encouragement to you to plan ahead, to be prepared, to know your limits when you go on a trip. Like I said, this is a thousand mile trip for me. Right now, I'm a little over 500 miles. I've got another 500 to go. It's going on 11 o'clock in the morning and I plan on being there this evening. But I know I only had, what, four or five hours of sleep. But when I get too tired to drive again, I know pull over because I know the feeling of hearing that bad news as a family member. I don't want any one of you to ever have to hear those words or to have to cause those words to be said to your family member. So, friendly tip, piece of advice, know your limits and know when you need to pull over. Do it before you are so tired that you can't think clearly to do it. Do it before you start nodding off. Do it before your eyelids become so tired that they're hard to hold up. Do it before somebody has to notify your family. I know that it's not necessarily a pleasant topic, but I hope and I pray that this will save somebody's life. When my brother died, I didn't understand it. I didn't want to accept it, 
But at the same time, I knew God was in control. He had a plan and a purpose for my brother's life. And, you know, maybe I won't know all of that this side of heaven. But what I do know is that I asked God not to let my brother's death be in vain. Not to let it go worthless into oblivion. I asked him to use that situation for the good of my family and the good of others. In one way, Satan wanted to kick us when we were already down regarding my uncle. And he wanted to kick us even more. But I said, God, please turn this around and use it for good. Use my brother's death for good. And he did. He's saved lives because of it. And I'm certain that somebody listening to this will have a similar situation or will be able to tell this story and to share it with somebody else so that they too can save a life. I plan on giving more um, videos while I'm on vacation. It's going to be a couple weeks, so I will do my best and you'll see some different backgrounds like you see today. Again, Kansas, welcome to it, Toto. Uh, the next one will probably come from Minnesota. So until then, I hope you all have a very, very blessed day and I appreciate you all and stay focused, stay alert, and stay awake when you're driving. Thanks, y'all. Be blessed.